Good to be back. We're back. We're back. Together. Yeah. This will be the last together one for a while. Yeah. But hopefully it won't be the last one for a while. Ooh, you know what we should do? We should go to Secret Lakey in Mm -hmm. New York and film a podcast while fishing. Very down. I like that idea. Very down. There will be one more, at least live one. Yeah, yeah. At some point before we return to UNC Charlotte so, for the fall semester. <laughs> so this By is way, Bass Now Radio. Bass Now Radio. <laughs> yeah, Bass Now Radio. I'm Lewis. Andrew. If um, this is your first time watching, it's been a while. It's been a long time. We, uh, uh, what do we do? We did one? We did one. At, well, the last time we filmed an episode together was day one of the Bassmaster Classic. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And we did one in between then yeah, and now. Yeah, we did one over the phone. And just talking about the changes to FLW at the time. Now, yeah. now today we're going to talk about changes to Bassmaster College. Yeah, and just kind of and touch on the stance of fishing. FLW Smith Mountain yeah. will be next week. So, yeah. Um, um, hopefully, we get back to normal episodes schedule weekly. S- your weekly scheduled programming. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I need to. We need to to coordinate over the phone podcast, but that will happen. Mm, we mm-hmm. got to. Now they will have you record yourself on your iPhone, and we'll just like I put can the do that. Footage next to each other. I can do that. Things are happening again. Yeah, we need to, yeah. we need to get episodes out to the people. Yeah, fishing to is you back. great folks. Yeah. Fishing is back. Yeah, uh, fishing never left. Fishing tournaments well, yeah, is back. Yeah, fishing pro tournaments are back. Yeah, some um, states fishing left, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel bad for those states. Too. I do too. Feel bad for. Me. Um, but yeah, here we are. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing, buddy. I'm good. How's I'm Jersey good. been? Jersey's been solid. I've been working a lot. I haven't been fishing a lot. Yeah, so I've been done the opposite. I haven't been doing too much work in Rhode Island. Yeah. A lot of fishing. Yeah, we, we switched I had, roles. I had to make up for all the fishing that wasn't had between the months of January and March for yeah. snowboarding. Yeah, for those who don't know, Andrew didn't fish for like a quarter of the year. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Just he's about, making up for it now making it up for it uh i fished uh well, i think we're going on day 22 in a row impressive yeah oh, well i've at least fished for like 30 minutes a day that's very impressive thank you. thank you i have not done as much fishing i have been working fishing here and there but i think i needed a little break things were looking ugly at the beginning of the semester <laughs> Uh, a couple bad tournaments, a couple bad fishing trips, and I'm feeling good again. You're salty. I miss fishing tournaments. I really I do. do. Too. You know, it's been a long time. I'm really, I haven't fished a tournament since November. Really miss fishing tournaments. Uh, I I just miss the competition. I miss I miss the early morning, the run, everything. I miss weighing and fish. It's it's time. I think a couple weeks I'm going to get out there. But the last tournament I fished, I won. I was going to ask if you're going to go fish that, uh, like, Ike and Ellie open. No. God, no. 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 I'll like, get my ass kicked Chesapeake? in. I will get my ass kicked in. You don't want to win a boat? No. I think it's like a $300 entry. It's too. $300 entry, but yeah. you win a boat. I think it's probably filled, too. I think they capped it at 150 oh. And knowing Ike and Chesapeake Bay, it's been filled, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I know he was advertising it the but, other day. Um, I think I'm going to get a little, little club tournament in on champlain really looking forward to that that's nice i miss that lake i miss my buddies in the club i don't know if i'm gonna fish a tournament until we go to well hop in we'll, we'll, something. we'll, we'll let, we'll let the something. cat out of the bag we're going to hartwell yeah bassmaster college series there at the end of august yep uh i don't know that might be the next tournament i fish i don't know no nah, hop in some hop in some rhode island i do i don't even know what's going on with the rhode island series i like emailed the rhode island bass nation director like yo what's going on like we're yeah. still gonna do tournaments and he never emailed me back hmm. people just don't like responding to me apparently maybe we'll try and fish for one of the uh, well you don't like responding to anybody so that's karma i know i kind of feel <laughs> i kind of feel for the guy so <laughs> um i think i relate to him on another level <laughs> there's those uh those thayers team tournament opens that go through new york maybe we'll hop in one of those or maybe you can hop into a BFL. Yeah, I was thinking, what was that? There's, there's plenty of options. On. Ah. There's, there's a BFL on like Champlain. The BFL on Champlain. Yeah, I thought about doing that. And there's a BFL on Cayuga, and there's a BFL. There might be one in St. Lawrence. I'm not sure. But there's plenty of northern experience to, ha- to be had. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there was some funky online tournaments going on. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, I really didn't like, other than Ike and Ellie, he was the only one that was smart enough to break into North and South. Yeah. But most of the other ones that were like, they were all like national. And yeah. it was like, what am I going to, um, Rhode yeah. Island in March, you're catching like a half pound bass. Yeah. Next I, to yeah. guys catching spawning bass here. Yeah, yeah there were guys in, who were <laughs> crushing them down South, which is awesome. And then, you know, I think that's sweet for like Southern or regional, but it's it's really hard to compete with those guys when, our fish just don't get as big. Yeah. I yeah. mean, don't get me wrong. Like there are big fish to be had up there. It's just not as many, but you know, a 20 pound bag up North certainly happens a lot, but a 30 pound bag down South happens a lot too. Yeah. And yeah. especially in March yeah. and in April, those are like prime time months and they are up North as well, but up North in March and April, our fish are this long and, this fat yeah they're circles the cir- football down south in march and april and these are length tournaments yeah they're all spawned out and freaking 30 inches long so which by the way speaking of uh length tournaments i did do some kayak fishing oh my 22 days of fishing i went kayak there you fishing go. twice now don't miss it <laughs> don't miss it at all <laughs> yeah i was never one for kayak fishing i don't know I caught, be... I caught a couple uh video will be coming out soon on the channel for that yeah um but yeah you know i don't know about these kayak terms i really don't i don't understand how they work like i was in this like 30 acre pond and i was like windy yeah and i would like paddle to one end and i would just like float in the wind and I'd be to the other side of the pond in like five minutes. Yeah. So I was like, cool. Now I got to paddle all the way back, start again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure with the nicer kayaks, it's not as bad, but I mean, it's still not for me. Mm. I mean, I, I like, if you think about some of those guys have the kayaks where the seats a couple inches above. Oh, you know, you have an all treks on it. <laughs> yeah. With their all treks and their foot pedals and like, that's manageable. Yeah. But those guys' kayaks probably cost as much as my boat. Potentially. So potentially. <laughs> I I'm I'm potentially. happy with what I do personally. But I, hey, kudos to all the guys that do it. It's awesome. You'll all be happy to know that my boat is running. There you go. You heard it's it here. Very positive. You heard it here a second because I already told him. Yeah. It's uh, running. My boat needs some help. She's running. She needs some electrical she and trailer help. Jesus. She needs some trailer help big time. But we're gonna get that before I head up north. Um, I'd love to do a podcast while I'm up there just to kind of share with the people how awesome it is at Champlin. Yeah. I mean, I, I keep telling everybody, I want to say June 25th ish. So it's, I don't know what I might be able to meet you there. I don't know what today is. It's the fourth. So I'll be at St. Lawrence three weeks. I'll I'll be be at St. Lawrence. uh, Yeah. 13th, 14th and 15th. I think very jealous. Yeah. Very jealous. Uh, hopefully. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> There's no hopefully there. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. I uh, know. It could be windy. Um, I tend to bring the wind with me. I think I don't think I've fished a single day mm-hmm. in Rhode Island where it hasn't been windy. Mm. Tough. Yeah. Well, bass season won't be open when you're there. Yeah. It opens the third Saturday in June. It's a good thing I'm not fishing the tournament. So bed fishing. It might not be bed fishing yet. Really? You think? Yeah. You might be doing a little rattle trap. Rattle trap. A little chatter bait. We'll see. We'll see. It's, gonna it's be been fun. warmer this year, though, so. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun, regardless. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a good time. Yeah. Looking um, forward to it. But anyways, I guess we'll get into. But yeah, that's yeah, that's what we've been doing. That's the update, A lot of fishing, a right? lot of working. Yeah. A lot of staying away from the corona. Yeah, yeah. We don't have the luxury of, like, night tournaments on every lake every night of the week up north. So yeah, it's no. hard to just jump into a. Yeah, uh, we have like, I can probably count on, I want to say, I don't know if I can count on two hands. Maybe the amount of tournaments that are in Rhode Island a year. Well, I mean, we have a lot of, there's like a couple little night tournaments, but they don't really start getting going until about now. So there's like, there's some weekly night tournaments and some opens and stuff, but it's not, it's not the same as the South where on any given day, almost there's a tournament, Yeah, which, you know, it's pretty freaking awesome but but we also don't have fish that are pressured yeah which it is nice makes sometimes, the fishing a little better sometimes in my opinion i don't yeah. know if that's exactly why but it's gotta have something to do with it <laughs> but anyways uh bass master college series yeah 
finally this we're, we're a little they've couple, rescheduled a couple, couple weeks behind because we wanted to do this live right um they rescheduled yeah i said finally uh like it i do like it yeah i mean I, 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 I don't think i'm gonna like when the national championship is i think what kinda, this was worried about that i think what this was is just them finding the open weekends yeah on the lakes that they had and plugging the lakes in yeah um the one thing I am upset about it is it was pretty heavily rumored that the national championship was going to be up north yeah, for a while. Like all spring and last fall, I remember here, it's going to be up north. And uh, now it's not. No, I don't. It can't Which they be. don't have a location it yet. Yeah, it's, it's, in October, it's too cold. Yeah. I mean, you could, but I, I doubt there. Don't they have a lake for the bracket? They do. And our buddy Noah thinks it was a mistake that they released it. <laughs> Because why would they release the bracket but not the national championship? Where's the bracket? Right here. It's Lay Lake. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, Lay Lake. But anyways. So, so mm, we'll have to get into where that could Hartwell, lead. which was scheduled to be, I want to say, March 23rd yeah. or 26th. Right. It, was happy. it was supposed to be right Last when week of March. the crap hit the fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. I think it was going to be the next... BASS tournament after the classic. No, because they were supposed to go to Chick the next week. Yeah, but Chick was the next week, and yeah. then, then it was the next big Hulk college tournament, and it got booted to August twenty seventh through the 29th Hartwell, same stuff. Three days. It's gonna be fun. They're gonna be chasing Chad. Herring, Herring, sorry, Herring. 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 I get it mixed up, all right? God. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's I'm going to be really fun. I'm um, looking forward to it, mainly because it's before we go back to college. Yeah. So I can come We're down a lot of time and practice, to practice for as long as yeah. I want. We can practice for a dang <laughs> week. Yeah. So um, it's going to be like the most prepared I think I've ever been for a tournament. Yeah. Other than Toledo, where I was prepared to not catch anything. Right. Because I would fish there for like five days. And yeah. No, I hear was you. was completely prepared to not catch anything. So uh, as I'm going to go to Hartwell practice and be prepared to catch them yeah be different it's uh Hear it's me. gonna be really cool and really different compared to what it would have been yeah yeah if it had been march there hey. would have, everybody it would have been a very even playing field which i should say i like more but i it's gonna be you're gonna see the guys who have fished a herring lake before and you're gonna see the guys who haven't and you're gonna see the few guys who are just good and you're gonna figure it out in a week but um, I can tell you from personal experience, the herring thing is weird. Yeah. And it takes a minute to find out. And I don't even think I have it really figured out for all. I don't know all. if you can figure it out. I think it's just. You have to figure out the fact that you can't figure it out. Yeah. It's just randomness. <laughs> yeah. <You laughs> uh, we to, fished it. Well, we fished it when we were practicing for the FLW Hartwell tournament because we practiced like a month before a tournament. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all I got to say is that. It's random. It's very random and uh, completely random. You just gotta get lucky. You gotta move. You, it's it's you, you, the guys that are gonna do well are gonna be guys that have move, a million million spots. That, that's how, that burn the tank. That's definitely gonna be a running gun tank. You're gonna have to burn the tank. Doubt. Absolutely, unless you pull up on a magic school, which has happened. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's gonna be running gun. It's gonna be herring. It's gonna be top water. Mix in your drop shot stuff and, you know, a couple of your deep water things. But, I mean, a lot of the fishing is going to be going out and just catching and catching and catching. Um, it's going to be a mix. Larges and, and, larges and spots. spots. Uh, you're going to need, I think you're going to need two large mouth. Yeah. A day to qualify. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can qualify on spots alone. And unless you catch a tank large mouth, I think you're going to need multiple large mouth. Yeah. I don't, I, th- I feel like it takes, I don't know what it'll take. Unless you think people aren't going to figure them out. I don't think people are going to figure them out. I think like, I really don't know. You think like 14, a, third, a, th- a third of the field is 14 to get you qual 14 and get you fish in the final day, 13 and get you qualified. That's what I think. So 26 total. Yeah. 26 and 28. I'll go a little higher than that. I think 14 to qualify. And I think, I think you need 15 and a half a day. Fish, fish final day. day. Yeah. I'd be really good. 
Yeah. It'd be really I, good. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good, too. I think it's going to be a lot of fish caught. I'm, I'm, being, I'm being hopeful. Um, there's going to be a lot of fish caught because if it, that, that time of year, just Hartwell in general, um, with the exception of like winter time, I, I don't know about winter time, but Hartwell in general, you should be able to find a limited spots pretty easy. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're really, really everywhere. And the bomb have, is calling. The limit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any sort of inkling of how to use your electronics, you're going to, you're going to catch. You'd be field. good. Yeah. You're definitely. Anyone that hasn't been to Hartwell. Yeah. So listening to this, any high school guys coming up to college series and this may be their first tournament. I don't know if Hank's allowing the high school kids to fish that are I don't, coming I, up I don't yet. No, either. Hank, you should get back to me on that. <laughs> um, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Watch, uh, watch really some cool electronics event. videos, how to, how to read your electronics. Absolutely. Key. Absolutely. So. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to getting down there. It's going to be hot. That's one thing. Yeah, it's, gonna, oh, be it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be really hot. Yeah, there's <laughs> really, gonna, the cooler will be filled. Really hot every day. That would for be sure. that would be the only reason why I could see it being tougher, is if it stays hot. You're definitely gonna want an early boat number. Yeah, at least one of the like you don't want to be mid pack. You want early at least one of the days. Yeah, because I think the early bite's gonna be good. I don't know. Those herring are weird. If you're like mid pack. When I was catching last year, it was freaking middle yeah, of the blue sun, sky. I know. Day. It was when it was sunny. That's just weird, though. I don't know. That's what they like do. A, I think that's just what like, they do. It's just so random, all right? I don't even know. Exactly. I don't even know, man. Fish are going to be caught. That much we know. But yeah, Hartwell, we're excited to be back. Yes. Uh, this is going to be fun. But that wasn't. Experience I, is going to show. I thought that Hartwell was going to be good in March. I thought I think it's going to be good in August. It would have been better. <laughs> I think Cumberland. Which is our next one? Yeah, is uh, gonna be even better than it was scheduled to be in May. In my opinion, my I could see, opinion. I could see it, it's gonna be tough. Um, not like the fishing. I mean, it could be. It's gonna be either good or bad, and it all depends on how cold it gets, how early. Yeah. If you get those really cool nights, because it's it's October first through the third. Yeah. If it starts getting cold in September, it's going to be dynamite. Yeah, I know. If it stays warm, it's going to be really tough. I'm being optimistic. <laughs> it's time to be optimistic in 2020. All right, I like it. It's going to be cold. Um, it's going to be good. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going, but I hope I can. Yeah. I'm I'm registered, but. I know, the BFL All American for Cumberland last year, I want to say it was the, the end of October, and it was pretty good. Guys were catching like 17, 18 pounds who were at the top. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that good, but I don't know. It depends on the cold. If it gets cold, it's going to be really good. That's yeah, what I think. It's definitely a wild card. Yeah. It has, it's, I think it's very dependent on what the weather does. Um, if it stays warm and you get that, like, summer fall transition funk going on yeah i don't know yeah. about everyone else that's my least favorite time yeah, of year no, you struggle with that i hate that that's time when of i year. beat him i hate that it's the september. only time i beat him it, up north it's september down south it's october i don't know so i hope <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that because cumberland's up in the mountains in kentucky at least that's my understanding of where it is that that northern September crappiness comes through, and by October first to the third, it could be good. It's happening. That's what I hope. I don't know. Maybe That's a little buzzbait action. A little buzzbait action say, could play. Whenever I think October fishing here, I think buzzbait. Yeah. I think whopper plopper. I think big walking bait. Yeah, jerk bait. Jerk bait. Spinner bait. Shad stuff. Bait. They're gonna be chasing shad. A lot of moving stuff. Or they're gonna be in a funk, and you're gonna have to catch them on a finesse one. What's Lewis gonna do? Both. <laughs> Until he takes five casts of this top water and picks up his yeah. shaky head, picks up the shaky Both. head or the drop shot or right. the Ned rig. That's how Lewis rolls. Old turd. Um, you know what I'm butt hurt about? What are you butt hurt about? I'm butt hurt about the fact that the high school is going to St. Clair. Yeah, and we're not. Yeah, it's such a big, dangerous lake, and they're putting the high school kids out there, but. I guess they don't trust the screw the, screw the dangerousness. There. I just hate that they're going there and we're not. All the other that's what I'm saying. It doesn't even make sense that they're going. Should all the us. other high school just tournaments saying. have been in line with the college tournaments except for this one. Yeah. Why? Nah. I don't know. They don't like it's us. Annoying. They don't like us. I'd much rather go to St. Clair. Catch yeah, a big, I would giant too. Brown fish. 
But that drive would suck. Yeah. For at least us. But I'd be okay with it. I'm Actually, sure. no. It's only like eight hours. And it's like, I looked it up hours. one time. Is it? Yes. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Sometimes I'm surprised by times. Because like, we're so far west. Yeah. That's what, that's what threw me off with St. Lawrence. Like St. Lawrence to here is like 12 hours. But yeah. From my house in Rhode Island, it's eight hours. Yeah. Like what? It's up, like or fi- six hours. St. Clair is like 15 hours from my house in New Jersey, but it's eight hours from here because you're already this far west. The more you know. Sure. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. <laughs> Maps. <laughs> Mapping. <laughs> um, But the year's going to come to a conclusion well kind of come to a conclusion at the national championship at the end of october on i don't know where i'm blank yep blank yep that lake i was gonna look up yeah we saw that there's a caveat to this we're pretty sure it's gonna be in alabama right because of (laughs) lay lake being because of the bracket being at lay lake you got to think that it's got to be a lake close to there now, what you got close to there? I'm looking. I believe Logan Martin. Ew. Uh, Lake Jordan, which is super tiny lake. It's not going to be there. It's I thought there. it would make more sense if the the, cla- the uh, championship was on lay. The bracket could be on Jordan. That makes more sense in my head. But um, I think that Logan Martin's lake above it. Gunnersville's kind of close. I'd be really surprised if they put it on Gunnersville. But... Also not. It's Gunnersville. I'm looking at maps. What is this? What? It says Google. Oh, that's Logan Good Martin. podcasting. Logan Martin. Yeah. No, I don't know. Logan Martin's pretty close. Logan Martin makes the most sense in my head. Absolutely. Which is spotted bases. Or Weiss. Gunnersville. Really yeah, Weiss Lake. Like, but I think Weiss is kind of small too, right? I, I could be. I, for, for you Alabama people who I might be saying you're you're an idiot. I'm sorry, I don't know Alabama Lake size. About Lake Martin, Lake Martin, they could do Lake Martin. Lake Martin, the Elite yeah. Series fished Lake Martin a couple of years back. Takahiro won on one spot with a crankbait up the river. <laughs> he led all four days. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be. I mean, I don't really know. What, it could be. I think it's gonna be Martin or Logan Martin. It's gonna be Matt, it's Battle of the Martin. It's gonna be the Battle of the Martins. Yeah, at the end of October. So spotted bass at the end of October. I kind of like that the way that. That sounds like it might be. I fun. just, I, I hope that it, sounds like a once again a buzz bait top water. Yeah, CS drop the, shot, drop shot. If you ain't catching them on top, you catch them on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> um, it could be good. I don't know. I who knows where it's gonna be. For all we know, it could be at Gunnersville. Could be at Wheeler. I don't know. Could be. Could yeah. be. <laughs> could be a Pickwick. I don't know. Oh, ooh, Could ooh. Be at any I would of those be for places. Pickwick. Yeah, I'd take Pickwick any day. Yeah, my money's on Logan Martin, but Pickwick that would be cool. I think it's probably five hours from there, but probably it's but, possible. But Pickwick, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'd like it to be on something like Logan Martin. I I don't know. I really don't know. I, I'd like to get there. <laughs> we'll worry about where it is now, after Lucky, that. Actually, when you're thinking about this here, let me let me point something out to you. Think about it. October 29th to the 31st, that's championship, right? There's yeah. nothing there? Yeah. Look at the next tournament, minus the Elite Series. The Bass Nation, Lake Pickwick. Yeah. 11th to the 13th. So it's probably not going to be there. No, I think it was going to be there. I don't think then so. Then they don't have to move their trailers or anything. Wait a second. They do that quite a bit. Wait a second. They did it with Bass Nation. No, they didn't. Never mind. I was thinking because we fished Hartwell. Oh, that was yeah. FLW and Bass. Right. Dang it. Right. I don't think it's going to be on. All right, where's FLW going? We'll follow. <laughs> they're probably following them, I guess. Gunnersville. <laughs> I think you're going to Gunnersville in October. Or no, Gunner. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's just throw a dart at Alabama, and that could be where we're fishing. I think Logan Martin. That's my, my, my bet. So basically. All right, fine. Your bet's Logan Martin. I'm going for Martin. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Cookouts on the line. Yeah. When they release it. That's if they include the whole meal. Anyways. Um, <laughs> didn't get the joke. He got the I joke. I got the joke after a while. Um, I think it make more sense if it was at Lay and then the bracket was at Jordan. That's just me. And that's also me knowing that Jordan has gigantor spots in it. Like big ones. California Although I think Lay si- does are they California size? Or are they- no, like you can go and catch 25 pounds though. Of Coosa River spots. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. No. <laughs> Biggin. Just saying. 
Um, I called a big spot one time. It was it was that's it was current, a good time. Good time. That's current Basson. Current Basson. Current Basson. But that's uh that's the college Bassmaster scene. Um, you want to go over the Elite Series movings? We can before we, we leave can. the Bassmaster. Well, hold on, let's site. talk one more thing about college. One more thing about I college. I say we wrap up college and okay. then we then we go over there. All right. Um, um, so college. We have FLW FLW coming up soon. We have an FLW college 14th. tournament. Oh, he's got it already. Folks. Smith Mountain Lake. There you go. If I'm not going to St. Lawrence, which, like I said, this is still not 100% set in stone, mm-hmm. I may go and fish that. Hmm. Maybe. June 14th. I might have to Smith bribe Mountain UNC Lake. Charlotte to let me go. Fair. Tell them I've spent four years worth of tuition. Yeah. I want to go. But I was thinking about going if I'm not doing anything. The last minute. It's probably not too, too, too far. For me, it's like eight hours. Yeah. I think so. Cool. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be deep fishing mostly. Yeah. And it's going to be busy. All There's going to be a lot yeah, of pleasure boaters. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Smith Mountain is in the Northern Division for reasons that I don't know. But, uh,. <laughs> It's going to be midsummer by the time June 14 hits on Smith Mountain Lake. So, not midsummer, but summer. It's, it's summer. <laughs> post spawn, deep post spawn. You're going to be catching them deep, I think. Um, unless it's dark action, but still, like it's it's going to be a summer, summertime post spawn pattern. I don't know if you're going to be able to fish a dock. Yeah. There's so much wake. Yeah. Boat, it's going to be fun. Be slamming it's into the dock. And then, <laughs> like, if they had that anywhere else in the real north, that would be a spawn tournament. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it would have been a great tournament. Yeah. Absolutely. But such is life. Um, I think the Chesapeake Bay was always supposed to be at the end of September. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Um, and Erie's the same. By the way, FLW, that's what That's for the doing? Northern Division. Northern Division. And you put Lake Erie, but at the end of Lake Erie that's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I know. Why? I'm upset about that as well. But that's the next uh, FLW college tournament. After that is Fort Gibson, July 10th. And uh, uh, Bring your sunscreen. Bring your sunscreen. <laughs> bring your water. Bring your swim trunks. Heat stroke. Be maybe, ready for it all. Maybe, bring your ice. Yeah, play. Bring your ice. Bring your portable ice refrigerator. Cream machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hot. I the last place I would want to be on July 10th is in the middle of Oklahoma. Yeah, trying to catch the four bass that live in Fort Gibson. Where she could be in like Texas or something. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. I'm sorry, folks. For you Oklahomans, uh, I bid you the best of luck. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't want anything to do with that. Someone's gonna catch a limit. And then I think after that, after yeah, after that is Erie, and then we're in August. So you got two northern events and a southern event. <laughs> Makes lots of sense. Perfect sense. Um, but that's uh, FLW College, and we we went over that whole schedule. If you want to check out our thoughts on the whole schedule, yeah, the whole new FLW schedule. You can go back posted. to our last epi, like ninety days ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whatever our last epi was, we talked a lot about the FLW rescheduling. Um, so go check that out uh, if you want to know about her feelings. You can tell I, we haven't done this for a while because my legs fall. <laughs> Not used to. Here you go. Here's a here's a here's a yeah. article. I know that's College what I that's returns. what I read. That's how I got to it before you did. Good job. Because you just kind of I'm proud of you. Scrolled by that. I know right I there. did. Um, elite series. Wait, before elite series, uh, before we go back to FLW, before we leave FLW, there was a pro tournament. Yes. Um, it was on Eufaula or Pickwick. Oh, that's right. There's the Toyota series on Pickwick, and to going on right now is the pro series on Eufaula. I think, yeah. unless they're both Toyotas on. I see. I don't like UFLW. <laughs> you can't confused. read the schedule. <laughs> I'm very confused. Okay. So right now, there's a Southeastern Toyota event going on on Eufaula. Yes. What went on last week? Pickwick. But Jake w- Wheeler. But uh, what was it? 
Oh, it was another Toyota Series yeah. Central event. Really one. How, how is... Uh, I almost said Blake Wheeler, who's an ex-Boons player. Why is there a Central, a Southeastern, a Southern, and a Southwestern division? I feel like they're all the same divisions. Uh, that's what they did. They, div- div- <laughs> they divided it up. Now, Why that can't was like, the, the, That right. was like their big thing when they merged yes, with, I know. with MLF. But they're like, there's more to fish. The Southwestern one is Toledo, Fort Gibson, St. Rayburn. Yeah. Why can't that be Texas just, slash Oklahoma? Just <laughs> Southern, Florida slash Georgia. Southeastern, Alabama slash Alabama. <laughs> They're all in Alabama, folks. I don't know what to tell you. But then the Central Division has a tournament in Alabama. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like your divisioning. By the way, that championship date? Um, December? <laughs> That's going to be toasty. <laughs> They're gonna have ice on the guides. Um, on Cumberland. Snow on the deck. Anyways, Central Division last week. Pickwick, what's his name? The uh, person I don't like won. Gruger. The truth comes out. Um, and right now is a event going there. on on Eufaula, and I think they're waxing Eufaula. their ass out deep. I don't know anything about what happened last. I week. haven't watched any bass stuff. What do we know? What happened last week? I, I Other than the know, fact that I just Wheeler, know won? Wheeler won. Let's take a look, real just quick. Oh, they caught him ledge fishing. It. I saw stuff about it. Ledge fishing. Yeah, Wheeler caught him with fifty six eight for three days. He won by five and a half pounds over Buddy, Buddy Gross. Gross. Second place. How about that? Um. Yeah. Justin Atkins. Wow, John Murray in the top ten. Go you, John Murray. You're not young. Um. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I'm not going to get into the details because I'm frankly not that interested. And this is a college fishing podcast majority. And Wesley Strader fished it. And we don't like FLW. So there's that. <laughs> um, but right I now. I don't mind it. It's better event. than major league fishing. So yes, it is. I would rather fish an FLW event. Um, mainly because we don't get invited to the uh, oh, major that's league right. fishing This events. tournament got moved. I forgot that this even was a tournament. I saw that name and I was like, I know that place. You gonna fish that? I'm speaking of Norman, folks. Uh, October first through the third. If I have money and I'm really feeling myself, you're not in the national championship. Yep, that too. Oh no, I'm sorry. If you're not in Kentucky, right? That's only if I qualify at Hartwell. Yeah. But I'm probably gonna want to go to Kentucky anyways, or come no to matter me. what. Yeah. So no, I'm probably not gonna fish this tournament on Norman. Although I'd like to if I had the money. So. Okay. You follow is happening and people are catching a lot of fish. Tune in to FLW if you'd like to see stuff that. Stuff I really want to talk about here in terms of pro stuff. The Elite Series. Because AAA baseball, stuff. no one talks about that. Correct. So. Unless your name is Jason Dominguez. <laughs> that's not even AAA. I that's know. like That's the thing. That's like high school. Um, <laughs> yes. So anyways, there's a new schedule. And instead of what was the old schedule? <laughs> for the elite series I this, don't know. this is old news by the way this is like two weeks well, old I'm, news i don't know why you're asking me i'm like the worst person to ask you're right let me go see if i can find it um i but just go fishing this is news that came out a little while ago yeah yeah we had the eight ball it was all over instagram all over it yep let me see if i can find it here oh and there's a classic announcement we didn't, we didn't talk about yeah. that too yeah um that's because I don't really want to. Mm. Are you upset mm. by it? Mm. Yeah. I don't like that to fly to the Bassmaster Classic this year. All right, here we go. Revised schedule. Um, Eufaula is June 10th through the 13th, so that is in less Next than a week. week. Um, I don't know what the original date of that tournament was. Off the top of my head. March. Yeah, I want to say it no, was spring. No, no, spring. no, no. It wasn't March. It was, it was in... Uh, April. April? Okay. So there you go. That's moved to June. Um, the FLW guys are crushing them right now, so I have faith that the elite guys can go behind them and continue to. Um, what are they on Chick? Cayuga is July 14th. That one wasn't moved. I'm pretty sure that's the same date. Right? Yeah, I think that's the same date. Anyways, it's July 14th through the 17th. That'll be good, unless there's an algae bloom in which guys can go to the other end of the lake and still catch them. That'll be good. St. Lawrence, July 23rd through the 26th. That's the same, too, I think. 
that's the weekend I plan to go with my dad. That could be fun. We're going to have to go the weekend before. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's going to be really good. It's going to be post-spawn, early summer. I know you guys think I'm crazy for saying post-spawn in the middle of July, but welcome to the north. Yes. Um, Almost Canada. Lake Champlain, July 30th through the August 2nd. Is that always the... I think so. Could be wrong, though. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah. If it's up north, I'm going to say it's going to be good because it is. Lake St. Clair, August 20th through the 23rd. That'll be good, too. That'll also be good. <laughs> Santee Cooper. This one was, this moved was moved from, I believe... End of April? And yeah. Like April, April 20 something? Yeah. Yeah. It's October 8th through the 11th, my birthday. Maybe we'll go down for it. I was going to say, maybe we'll go down to that one. Yeah. Um, I've never been. Down I don't there. know anything about that. I kind of want to go down there and lose a lower unit. So. I th- I think that plays into my little transition tough period time. Yeah, I don't know right? how it's gonna be. It could be tough. There's potential yeah, that it. I it, don't know. It might be good then. It won't be what it would have been. Yeah, no, that's it, it would have been a slugfest. But guys will catch him, especially a guy named Patrick Walters. But. Um, so your your early pick for that, obviously, yes. early fantasy pick. But it won't be what it would have been, for sure. Oh, absolutely. I wonder Chikamaga. how fans, I can't wait to start the fantasy league up again. Bro. I know the fantasy yeah. league is we still a, going. We, got we still have to give, give away. away. Yeah. yeah. Um. We okay, said both this was the one that was at the end of March. Chickamauga was supposed to be the week after the classic, I believe. Yeah. And it was moved to October sixteenth through the nineteenth. So it's the week after Santi Cooper. They go straight. It's back to back events. Back to back events. Yep. Um, and that'll be. I was there during almost this exact time of the year, and it sucked. So, <laughs> high hopes. High hopes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I'm not just saying this for me. Actually, I was there the week prior, two years ago, with our friend of the program, Trevor Topkin, and we went down, and it sucked. And we looked up the Chickamauga Bass Association. They had their classic that weekend, the same weekend we were down there. That's and like them 35 pounds won it for two days. Not exactly not, what you want to see from Chickamauga. Chickamauga numbers. So hopefully the week after when this is, some cold sets in. We get some good fall fishing, a little frog action. Fogin. Hopefully this is a good tournament to watch. A fork was moved to November 5th or the 8th. That's Texas. This could be a banger yeah this could be an awesome tournament to watch top water cranking spinner bait and up in the creeks chasing bait big bass it could be really good big bass big baits big dreams it's not how it that's goes. my spin on it <laughs> heard it here first folks. so that's the schedule that's the elite series schedule by aoi and then there's the base masters classic and the aoi uh is that that's not on there so tough I don't know if it's on I here. I thought either. they put that. No, I don't think they did. They didn't reschedule that yet. I don't believe that they did. I don't believe that they did. Well, crap. So the classic. Never mind. Never mind. Is yes. going to be. That's enough. I'm find out who's the angler of the year this year. <laughs> the classic <laughs> is going to be somewhere in Texas, Lake Ray Roberts. Ray, Ray, is it Ray Roberts? Ray, it's Ray Roberts. Ray, Ray Robin. Um, <laughs> March 19th through the 21st. It's um not a good time of the year for me. It's a but good time of the year for I me if it's around spring break and if I can find a cheap plane ticket. So, yeah, I'm Maybe hoping not to break going. my three year streak of being at the classic. Dallas, Fort Worth. Yep, I've been at my first, third, and second classic in a row. Let's try and make it fourth in Texas. Although I wish it wasn't in Texas, just for the selfish reason reason of it being far for me. I hope they put it in California the year after, just to see if you go. I don't like you. <laughs> I hope they put it on like High Rock <laughs> the year after. Oh, I would be so down. For How the sick would that be? Rock. How sick would that be? I could see that. Yeah. What would they even weigh in? Though? Yeah. Uh, they could do here. Yeah, Tamarack Marina. <laughs> <laughs> they could weigh in in Charlotte. Have the expo on that little diner there at How, the bridge. It's like what? An hour and 15 from here? They could weigh in in Charlotte. Absolutely. It's or Greensboro. Or like an hour. No, Charlotte's going to be closer. Yeah. Yeah. They could. Uh, yeah, no, it could be Greensboro. It could be Greensboro. No way. No way. Way. No way. No. No way. This is the part of the podcast where we get a little, a little loopy. A little loopy, a little off track. Oh, yeah, dude. 
Greensboro. I think. Uh, it's <laughs> right in between both. Charlotte would be such a better place to have it. It would. It would. The classic's hopefully going to be in Charlotte in 2022. <laughs> Expo at UNC Charlotte. My senior year. Oh my god, that would be so great. They would never do that though. They didn't even have the college way in it. UNC Charlotte. No, no. By I'm the way, I'm just, still waiting for an explanation for that. Um, Hank <laughs> Bass, Hank. Uh, um, but yeah, why? <laughs> that would be so cool. I love how we're just skipping over talking about this classic and our uh, just dreaming about it being on High Rock again. Yeah, I just don't want to go to Texas. Like. I know. Yeah. The only, you know, the, the, have you been to the Dallas the Fort Worth area? Maybe the Googans paid them to put it there. Yeah, maybe. Andrew's recently coming out of liking the Googans, yeah. which I'm happy. I'm with. on a very negative Googan stretch right now. Um, Except for you, John. Still got faith in you. <laughs> have you ever been in the Dallas Fort Worth area? Um, Just the airport. Yeah, me too. I've got a lot of connecting flights through there. Me but. too. Never stepped foot there. From what my dad says, the only Texas I think he likes it. I've I know experience is Toledo Bend, and that's <laughs> it. I've never been anywhere else in Texas. I know my dad really likes Austin. Austin's a great city. Yeah. So I don't know what Dallas Fort Worth is like, but not um, Austin. If uh, I don't know, <laughs> do they have the uh, the logistics of this tournament up? Attend. Let's see. They got to. They have to have that yeah, organized the by Expo's now. Expos in Dallas, I think. Because if that. it's the kind of thing where like the expo's right next to the weigh-in place, I'd get a hotel right next to it, and we could just Uber to the hotel, yeah. walk back and forth. You know, I don't have to go to the lake, Dickies Arena, <laughs> and the expo will be at the Will Rogers Memorial Center. How far is the Will Rogers Memorial Center I'm from Dickies up. Arena? We're gonna we're gonna do. I'll look up Dickies Arena. Look up the other one. This is some great podcasting. We got this going is on great here. podcasting. I'll just look up the. I'm just gonna this. This is this is information for the people. This is for the people who are considering going. Yeah, oh, it's 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 right down the street. It's a walkable. It's walkable. Yeah, it's it's a quarter mile. So there you go. So if you live far away from Texas like we do, you can get a hotel next to one of these places, and do the walking. You know what we haven't talked about? What have we been not We're talking? We're gonna about? make this a slightly longer episode. Okay. We never talked about the Bassmaster Classic from this year in terms of how it went. Like, uh, like I think we talked about briefly Hank Trey winning on the last podcast. I'm so mentally not ready for this. It's okay, folks. We'll talk about the Classic. Let's talk about it. Um, No. What do you mean no? That's all I got to say. What about no? I love the lake. Yes. I hated the city. Yeah. And I hated the layout. I was not. Um, I, I've never been to many conventions, but I have been to a lot of conventions up north, fishing conventions. Yeah. And wow. I thought I was in the Maze Runner series or something. I was not. Um, <laughs> now, I, I th- also think I'm quite. This, my opinion on the 2020 Bassmaster Classic is slightly skewed for a few reasons. Um, one of them being that... Yours truly wasn't there the last day. I know. Yes. Another one being that uh, some some dude who organized where we all were going to stay did a kind of bad job of keeping everyone in the same spot and close to the arena. I don't know who that guy would be. <laughs> um, wow. Another Calling one, yourself out on earth. <laughs> another one would be, um, I was expecting a lot more from Gunnersville. Yeah. Now, there were different talks about how weather played in and pressure. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. The camera has died. Now, you're just going to see a picture of my face for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube. Um, anyways, the, the lake didn't live up to my expect, expectations at all. Yeah. But I, know, I, I don't know. I've always felt Gunnersville is either on or not on. I just thought it was not on. I was expecting, if not 2014, close to 2014. I was expecting 80 pounds. Like, I thought they were going to knock it out of the water. No, in that first hour, you knew it wasn't going to be like Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, it looked bad from the start. Well, so that's like three guys are catching. You're like, hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. This isn't good. That's another reason why I wasn't all in on it, which is not the Bass's fault whatsoever. Um, I think they were also kind of just getting their feet back under them after losing everybody. Uh, and also, I came back from a really shitty tournament the week before. <laughs> <laughs> With a lot of partying in between the tournament and the classic. And the classics. You I had a very skewed look at this classic. I was excited to be there. It was still great because it's the classic. Um, but I, I am a little, like you, a little critical of how Bass put it on. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. It wasn't Knoxville by any means. Oh, no, Knoxville. Anybody you ask Nothing will tell you will Knoxville, close to Knoxville was amazing. Yeah, um, I was a fan. It's a fan. What else? Um, I don't know. There was just there was nothing to eat. Like you either ate at the classic. That was weird. Or you ate the subway across the street. And anyone that knows that was there knows exactly which subway I'm talking about. Yes. It was either like that place or like the like thirty two dollar plate barbecue place down the street. Or the 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 food court inside of the expo. Yeah, that was it. It was like another, you had to drive out of the city to find all the restaurants. It was kind of crazy and weird. And yeah, like, you know how usually when there's a classic, like, they put up a, a, a picture or a, an article saying what to do while you're in Birmingham? There was, none of, there was nothing. I don't like know that. what they put on that article because there wasn't anything to do. I don't think. You leave the city. That's what you do. Yeah. I you walk under overpasses that are being constructed yeah. to get to the parking garage. No offense to the city of Birmingham, but I don't like the city of Birmingham. <laughs> I, I just, I was disappointed. Like, they, it was just not as, like, hyped up. Like, Knoxville was just, like, alive when we were there. Yes. And the even, even being down at Hartwell, being in uh, Greenville, mm -hmm. the way in Greenville I thought was great. And, that, you know, I thought it was a little weird bussing tune from the expo. I was big on that. Yeah. But, um, you know. I I agree. You know. <laughs> I do. I, I know exactly what you're saying, and uh, I hope they can bring it in Dallas. And apparently if you were there, you had like a like one in four chance of getting the flu. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was wild. So I guess Especially I considering the times. We should like consider ourselves lucky that... Uh, Oh, yeah. I guess we should consider ourselves lucky that uh, we didn't get the flu. In fact, I don't think we knew anyone on our team that got the flu. So. No. But I do know a lot of people got the flu. I do as well. <laughs> I do as well. It was... Uh, Must be eaten from, from the food court. It was all right. It was an okay classic. Um, I'm, I don't know if everybody else will say that. I don't know if guys will tell you it was just as good as the rest of them. For me, it was not as good as the other two that I've been to. And again... Um, even though Andrew agrees with me, that could be for personally skewed reasons. Same. And I'll admit that. Um, Insane. But I'd like to know the general public's view on it. Um, yeah, comment below if you're at the 2020 Classic. We're a little late on getting back to this. Yeah, I know. It's but, been a while, uh, but I'd like to know what other people's thought. Yeah. I mean, I, I do. There's the one thing like that I will say. You know, I've never been to Dallas, but I do know Dallas. And I do know that it's going to be, it's not going to be Birmingham. Yeah. Sure. Like, there's a lot to do in Dallas. Yeah. A yeah. lot. So, the, so. This class, the next class, it could have a lot going for it, for all we know. Um, and then High Rock in 2021. That's right. 22. 22. Wow. <laughs> Getting old. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are too, bud. Me too, but slower. <laughs> but slower <laughs> all right guys we're at uh 50 minutes here so yeah i guess we shouldn't waste any more of your time not like there's much time to waste when you're in quarantine yeah you got nothing well to do. you forget that most of the most of the people so are out of it northern people that are still in quarantine yeah and yeah i 100 percent agree with that i've been in charlotte for three days and uh it's I went done. to Bass Pro Shops. What, what today. is coronavirus? And yeah, I, I didn't even know that we were in a pandemic. Or we just the South just gave up on a revolution. It. Yeah. We'll touch on that quick. Um Yeah, I don't know. That's that's what we got, folks. I guess that's what we got. Next week we'll be over we'll the phone be back. again. It'll be over the phone again, but we'll be, be this, back. It could be Lewis's face, but a different face this time. What do you mean by that? Oh, you put a 
Okay. I'm unless excited we do, to see unless this. we do video. If we don't do video, if we, if we don't do video, it's just gonna be a different face of me of each episode. Yeah, I like it. I'm with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm behind this. Good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so well until next week. Until next week. Uh, tight lines. Catch Enjoy them yourselves. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. Go stay fishing. healthy. And uh, bye. Bye.